Hi guys, so let's say, for example, I've got an article on my website like this one here, and it's no longer current and up to date, um, and I'm just going to remove it. Now, what a lot of people do is they don't implement a 301 redirect. Now, I'm going to answer um, the most common questions when it comes to this, and obviously this is what gives off 404 messages and stuff like that. Now, if you've got a 404 error, it's basically flagging up the page is dead, and it basically lets Google Bot see that you've got broken links in your website, which is not good for your technical SEO. Now, if you do have an article like this one, for example, a lot of people will go into the back end of their website, they'll just delete the post, job done, they don't care, they'll just click bin, not do anything. So what is the right practice to do? Um, it would be implementing a 301 redirect. So, for example, if it was this WordPress YouTube plugins, and I just no longer want that article on my website, I would put a 301 redirect on there to take you to either my homepage or if there was another page on the website that was more relevant to that particular search term, then I may redirect it to that position. Now, that is the best practice to implement a 301 redirect. Now, how do you do that with WordPress? Now, you've got two options. Um, you can simply go into the control panel of your website and go into redirects, and you go in here and you put in the domain name, forward slash, whatever it might be, and redirect it to the new domain name. It's entirely up to you. Now, make sure that you do click wildcard redirect, just so that you get all variations of your website redirecting over, and if you can't be bothered to get into your control panel and you want a simpler, easier option, this is very similar to fixing the 404 errors, but you want to do this if you're removing blog posts, merging blog posts or doing anything else. Um, you simply go to, I believe it's tools, and there's a redirection plugin that you can use. And again, I can just go in and add a redirect and put in the current URL and the target URL, and then that's it job done, I've added a new redirect, and that will give me a 301 redirect and it'll take people. So here's an example. I had a big long URL on there that I didn't want, and we shortened that URL to target social media for business, and that's much cleaner, much tidier, much more SEO friendly, and we can check whether that redirect works. And yes, it does. And I've done that through the redirection plugin. So implementing a 301 redirect is really important if you're going in and out, you know, maybe consolidating some of your blog posts and maybe pulling three articles into one big article. You would want to implement two redirects onto that main article from the old URLs. Um, and a lot of people are doing that and making their blogs longer, and you can capture a whole bunch of search terms with one blog post rather than having three individual posts, or people simply just remove old blog posts that no longer are relevant in terms of information. What you can't do is allow Google to just crawl a whole bunch of 404 errors. It's not good for your website. It's not good for Google to come onto a website that's broken to bits. Is that going to encourage it to come back to your website forever more? Probably likely to put them off. So make sure that you are implementing your 301 redirects whilst you're removing or cleaning up your website or you inherit a website that's a big mess. 301 redirects, do not forget about them. They are really important from an SEO point of view.